everyone, Daniel Webster here from Pocketnow.com, and today I'm going to show you how to unlock the radio on your Sprint HTC Touch Pro 2. So the annoying thing about this particular device opposed to the Verizon Touch Pro 2 CDMA variation is that you are unable to use a US SIM card after the device has been SIM unlocked. So as you can see right here in the corner it says that it's on Sprint's network and that's all you can pretty much do in the United States. For some reason the radios are locked out. So I'm going to show you how to unlock the radios and actually use an AT&T or T-Mobile SIM card in this device. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we'll want to do is actually get our IMEI number and write that down and make sure that it's correct. And you can either get it from the back underneath the battery on this particular device or you can scroll all the way over to the last tab on the TouchFlow 3D under settings and then just click on menu, phone network mode, and you have to make sure that you do this part if you want to get the IMEI through the device and then switch to GSM only. And now push the talk button and then dial star pound zero six pound and your IMEI number will appear at the top and you can write that down. Okay, so let's move on to the next steps. So the next step would be to launch your internet browser and type in Rhodium, which is R-H-O-D-I-U-M-W for Worldwide Edition Phone, dot HTC hyphen unlocks dot com. And as you can see, it's right up here. Here's the web address. And that's the actual web address. And this program actually costs about oh, 15 to whatever amount you want to spend because it's actually donationware. So it's pretty neat. So uh, the, the lowest amount you can spend is about 10 um, British pounds or euros. So whichever you choose, you can also do that. So here you want to actually input your IMEI number. And then if you want to pay in euros, you can do that. You can either buy with PayPal or pay with a credit card. And once you've checked out, it'll allow you to download the program. Okay, so once we've downloaded and actually installed the program, um, it'll ask us, it'll give us a little disclaimer and it'll say, I nor any other entity take any responsibility for loss or damage or whatever. Um, most likely it's not going to occur, so you just hit accept and click yes. And here is where you will actually flash your hard SPL. You'll need to change the SPL and if you're a little wary about that, then you should probably not install this particular program and unlock the radio. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you're connected to your device using your USB cable to ActiveSync. And now we're going to run the hard SPL. And for this particular one, you actually want to click no if you have not already installed this. So we'll click no and then OK. And that will actually install a program on your device that will allow uh, the program on the computer to actually turn off your device into the boot load mode. So we'll go OK after we've installed that. And it's going to ask us if we want to flash and we'll hit OK. And it will bring us to the ROM update utility. So we'll just click OK. And click on this little checkbox after you've done all of these steps. Click Next. And now it's just going to verify the information on your device. And it will show your current image and what you want to update this to. It only takes a couple of seconds. We'll click Update. And as you can see, it's going to change the um, SPL. So click Next and Next. And after it's all installed, it doesn't take very long to actually change the SPL. It'll actually reboot the device and then turn it back on. And now to the next step. Okay, so after we've changed our hard SPL on our Sprint Touch Pro 2, as you can see up here, we still have no service on our GSM. So we'll want to actually unlock the radio. So I'm going to click right here to unlock the radio. And it's going to communicate with my device. And it should only take a couple of seconds to actually change this. And it seems, okay, so it'll launch the update utility as well. So click Next. Uh, click on these check marks after you've uh, connected, all your, connected your device and make sure you have 50% battery. Click Next again. And now we can update. And on your device, it will actually go into the bootloader setting with these uh, four colored bars, red, green, blue, and white. We'll just wait for it to load. It shouldn't take too long. As you can see, it already says security unlocked at the top. So it shouldn't take too long to load. As you can see, it's uh, it's gone quite a ways in uh, just a little bit of time. And it will stop at like 97%, at least on my uh, computer it does for a second. And then it goes to 100%. 
So it's going to take this out of view. Okay, so it's at 100%, it will actually reboot the device again. So we'll just wait for that to occur. And it says the update is complete and we'll click finish and we'll move on to the next step. So on our device, we still have no service with our GSM SIM card inside. So we're actually going to unlock the uh, rest of the device. So we're going to click on this last step, which is step three, run unlocker. It's going to communicate with the device. And now it's going to run the unlock sequence. So this is actually going to SIM unlock your device and also CID unlock your device, which allows you to unlock security as well. So you can click on security unlock, all three of these if you want to, and then you can just get commit changes. And it'll go through a couple of steps and now it will uh, soft reset your device. Okay, so after our device is rebooted, we can go into the settings and under the uh, GSM only, we can look for networks, but it's still not gonna find networks because the radio that was actually installed on this device is still unable to find US uh, GSM networks. So now I'm going to run another, um, I'm actually gonna flash the radio, and I'll post a link on pocketnow.com as to how to get a link to this uh, different radio for the uh, US GSM bands. And I've already downloaded it, so I'm just gonna click on the understand uh, the uh, caution above that, okay? Click next, kinda like the same thing as before, make sure we have all these uh, steps done. Click next again. And this is actually going to flash the radio on our Sprint Touch Pro 2 so that we actually get uh, worldwide uh, coverage. So it's actually pretty cool. Click next on here, click next again, and then again it will all, it'll, um, activate the bootload mode. And it so again says security unlocked, so we're actually able to change the radio on this device. So again, it goes very quickly. It might stop at 97% again. Uh, it does that on mine. I'm just going to cut the video out because no one wants to sit here and watch that. Okay, so when it's reached 100%, it will state that your ROM is now up, is now complete, and the device will actually restart again. So in just a second, I'm going to show you the settings to activate your GSM SIM card on your Sprint Touch Pro 2. So after the device is done rebooting, we can actually go back all the way over to the settings, go to menu, phone network mode, and we're actually going to select our network. So if you click down here on manual, it'll actually look for a network. And right now we have AT&T available. So I'm just gonna click OK. And now we are actually registered on the network. As you can see, we have our edge service with full service. Unfortunately, the uh, US UMTS uh, 3G bands don't work on this particular device because um, it probably didn't pass FCC regulations or something like that. So I will post a link on pocket.com as to how to get all of the information on how to do this. Um, again, the unlock program does cost around $15 US, uh, $10 euros, uh, and then, but then again, it is also donationware. So if you have a Sprint uh, Touch Pro 2 and you want to use GSM, this is a great way to actually activate the radios. Thanks for watching.